my name is Bonnie Shapland Hill. I'm 21 years old and I would love to have the opportunity to join the Bridge Theatre Training Company. I'm a fun, adventurous person and I love to make people laugh. I would love to do this course because I really admire the community feel that you have to offer. When I left school, I auditioned for a pantomime society, landed one of the main roles, then stayed with them for three productions because I loved their family feel and sense of community spirit that they had. I'd also really like to do this course because I really want to develop certain skills such as accents and dialects, uh, stage combat and text analysis because I believe this can make me a more versatile person in the workplace and when portraying other characters. When I studied drama GCSEs, I developed a lot more confidence and gained some great team working skills. The only thing is, we only covered two Shakespeare plays, which I really enjoyed doing, and so it, yeah, it would be great to be able to explore more of his work. In the past, I've been involved with as much as I can, such as stagecoach, amateur dramatics, uh, choirs and drama clubs. I became really interested in dance, so I joined a school when I was 14, uh, where I was able to take part in various shows, exams and carnivals. Now my favourite styles and my main styles I like to do are jazz and tap, which I have achieved a merit and distinction in. All of the shows were done as group work, which I really loved because it gave us as a school an opportunity and a chance to express ourselves, meaning that all of the routines were completely unique. Uh, I have a really big passion for travel as well, so I started to learn to speak Spanish then booked a job as an au pair in Spain so that I could improve my language skills. Now, this was a really, really good um, experience for me because I did become a lot more fluent in the language and I grew in confidence so much. So I'm so proud of myself for taking that leap and doing what I really wanted to learn. But while I was there, I learned how to um, play the guitar and I dedicate myself a little bit of time each day to get better and practice this skill. It's given me a lot of um, creativeness, so I've been able to develop my creative skills, um, practicing guitar, and I'm just really enjoying the learning journey. Um, I really love musical theatre as well, so I'm just really looking forward to doing that. And my favorite show is Mamma Mia. Um, after reading lots of positive reviews about the bridge and also talking to other students um, about their experiences there who are currently there, I'm just so excited to get started and I was so excited to audition for you. Um, so yeah, I'm honestly just cannot wait to get started and get going. Thank you so much for watching and for giving me the opportunity to audition for you. Now the time I met a man in pictures, went out to the Riverside Dance Palace with him. He said he was going to put me in pictures, says I was a natural. <laughs> when he got back to Hollywood, he was going to write about it. <laughs> I never did get that letter. <laughs> I think my old lady stole it. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to stay in no place where they stole your letters, so I'm very curly. Met him out to the Riverside Dance Palace too. I, I, I haven't told nobody this before. Maybe I oughtn't to. Truth is, I, I don't like Curly. He's not a nice fella. <laughs> yeah, I might have stayed with him last night, but him and his old man both were into me.
know, don't don't tell anybody till I get clear away, but no, I'm gonna leave in the night and thumb a ride to Hollywood. <laughs> gonna get in pictures and, and wear nice clothes and and stay in the big hotels. And they'll take pictures of me. <laughs> and when they have their openings, I'll talk in the radio. <laughs> And no one calls me nothing because I'll be in the picture. Oh, all oh, the nice clothes like they wear. Because <laughs> this man says, I'm a natural. <laughs> oh. I ate the divorce papers, Charles, <laughs> with ketchup and all. They were good. <laughs> you probably want me to get serious about our divorce, no? Well, <laughs> the thing is, Charles, darling, you always called our marriage a joke. So let's just use a tiny little bit of logic here, shall we? If A, we never had a serious marriage, and then B, we can't have a serious divorce. <laughs> The whole thing's a farce, Charles. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it last week your dad asked you the reason why you walked down the aisle with me? <laughs> and you said, you said, oh, for the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're a funny bloke, Charles. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying, I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, darling, because, because I am infinitely lovable. <laughs> I mean, for instance, okay, take Paul. He has loved me since um, year nine. And yeah, yeah, okay, sure, he's a little creepy, but oh, he really loves me. <laughs> and he sent me 200 original love signs. You know, he sees something in me, Charles. And you know, darling, I actually wrote you a solid. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. <laughs> Charles? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God, you didn't die, Charles, darling. Oh, yes, because oh, it's all a big joke, really, isn't it? It's very funny, Charles. See, I can joke too. <laughs> See, I'm waiting for you to say, oh, it revolves. <laughs> and, yeah, but. <sighs> well. You're not going to, are you? No, because, because, well, it, it's not April, is it? No. <laughs>